this is my review on Superman 4 Quest for Peace. I give this a 0 out of 10. It's not that bad or... I mean, it's not as bad as people say that this movie is. It's just as bad as the previous three Superman movies. Minus the quality range, minus, minus the jokes are, you know, la besides the, sure, the, besides the jokes in this one don't get a good laugh out of you like the first three did. You know? Because the first three was such, well, I'm saying were better comedies and, uh, than the th fourth one was. Because the jokes and the villains. Was the villains. Is just as bad as often as before. But the jokes are not as stand out as much. They're more forgettable, the jokes. A lot of the jokes are forgettable, actually. Like, 98% for me of the jokes I think. 98% the jokes I forgot about this movie. 98% of the jokes in this movie, I'm guessing. It feels like I forgot 98% of the humor of this movie. I felt like I forgot, uh, except for that. Or, except for bits and pieces in there. Oh, this is really small pieces, but uh, uh, even then, I, actually, I can't remember that many jokes of this movie. Uh, well, that stick out at all. The first three did not have that problem of oh, Christopher Reeves Superman movies. And this is, this is barely structured as the previous three Superman movies and put together and executed poorly like the previous three. That's why I give Superman Quest for Peace a 0 out of 10. And I don't know what the fuck this story is about. I mean the point of the story either, and I don't know what the point of this is. Still movie. Now I'll review Supergirl the movie. This is my review on the director's cut and the theatrical original cut of Supergirl the movie. I give it a zero out of ten because I have no idea what this movie's about. I can't figure out what's going on. The visuals all nice and stuff, and the the visual effects are very nice. And, and uh, with the action scenes and the, uh, the effects are really good, uh, but I don't know what the heck is going on in this movie. If that doesn't bother you, 
if you can't tell what's not, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if you don't hate a movie, if you can't not hate a movie when you're having trouble, what the fuck is going on in the story, and you, you feel like this, the, the trying to, there's some story going, but you're not really sure what, what's, what's going on, it's so, uh, it's also kind of forgettable, the movie is, with his characters, not with his visual set, not with the des- not with the the effects. This was the uh, the characters personality wise. Uh, Supergirl personalities. Ish. This version of Supergirl of Kara of a uh, uh, Supergirl. It's she's not memorable. She doesn't really have a, a clear that much of a personality. It doesn't really have personality any. And I don't know why she's wearing Superman's clothes because I don't know for for some reason the movie in the comments of the movie out of nowhere she gets the Supergirl costume when she heads to Earth. Didn't show when she changed into that. They never should explain. But random shit like that happens is is thrown together. This movie is like that. There's a bunch of plot things quest that raises too many questions. Like why? I mean, okay, I can buy Superman. Uh, changing in a phone booth with a super speed. But I don't know why I can't buy Supergirl is popping out of a flower in her Supergirl costume after she heads right to her after her, after after she comes out of the water after her flower comes out of the, the, the this uh this the, this like little ship is like designed like a flower. It, it's not a it's a ship not not a not a flower. I'm sorry, but it looks like a flower to me. Then when this shit comes out of the comes out of the water, and then Supergirl pops out of the ship, and her Supergirl costume. For some reason, she's wearing the Supergirl costume. I don't know why. She doesn't plan on saving anybody. Actually, she doesn't re- and doesn't actually save anyone. I don't think she even attempts to save lives so, uh, at all. Really, uh, at that much. Uh, really, doesn't. Uh, not that I remember, unless I'm forgetting. Uh, I don't think she did anything really heroic in this movie, and that's kind of my problem. She doesn't even really sing Corolla like Super- Chris Free Suman does in his movies. And uh, Chris Free Suman movies sucked and all, but at least he, he, he tried to show he does some heroic stuff now and then. Like, say, if a kid in out of a tree. I think Supergirl might have saved a kid out of a tree like once in this movie. If I'm, if I, unless I made that up in my head, unless I got confused and thinking of Superman in the movie again, possible. That's possible. Oh, and I forget what the uh, villain's name, but I thought she sucked, the villain sucked, the female villain sucked to this movie, I thought. Even worse, more than Supergirl sucked. 
the characters, these suck in these movies, they're too forgettable. And the jokes, I'm not sure if there are any jokes in this movie. It's trying to be like an art house movie, I guess. And it, it, it seems like it's trying to be like some of these weird art scene movies it's trying to be. Because I don't know what the point of what, what the story is, really. There's a bunch of cool visuals in this movie, but this, I'm not sure if I even remember, remember the characters that well, personalities, uh, well, well, if they have any. Especially Supergirl. I just thought these characters were a little bland to me. For me, taste. Which took me out of the movie big time. Did I spy give Supergirl a 0 out of 10? So I give Supergirl and Superman 4 The Quest for Peace both movies 0 out of 10. Okay, and um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe to me, hit subscribe and hit the bell. Hit both to, in that order. Okay, goodbye.